Hey everybody, Anne here, and today I want to talk about, well, I think I may have fixed my own van, hopefully. I feel very, very independent. The van has been doing some weird stuff, okay? You know that I had to pay all that money to get the hoses and whatnot repaired so it would not overheat and explode on me. Well, after I paid all that money, it's been leaking antifreeze. And I know I need to take it back in somewhere, but, um, you know, I've got stuff to do and I don't have a lot of money, so... Um, oh, and it was also doing this weird thing where it was kind of stalling. It was like, it was like, I don't know, like it was powering down or it was kind of like puttering, fizzling down or I don't know how to describe it. It was like um, chugging, not chugging, gosh, it was just acting like it was um, not getting enough of something. And um, so I don't know. I thought, is it the alternator? Is it... Um, you know, is it because it's overheating or whatever? Um, and by overheating, I mean the little needle was getting up to like the middle when normally it doesn't go past the end in normal. So that's kind of like my gauge. So anyhow, I looked at a bunch of stuff and I decided, well, well, first of all, when I pulled into the campsite, um, I could see the steam coming from underneath the hood. And so I went and looked and it was right by this little metal bracket that they use to, um, secure a hose but it wasn't one of those like little ones that you can tighten and whatnot and screw it it wasn't like that it was like a a, um, a metal collar that they had put on and um, it was just leaking from that okay um, and underneath it was leaking a little bit underneath and I've noticed I've been leaving puddles here and there um, not big ones but ones that add up after a while um, of antifreeze and so I got this this K seal stuff went to Walmart um, I went I, I let it cool down first because I knew I had to add some more coolant because the radiator looked like it was about I don't know only half full whereas you know I, I paid to get it completely filled up at the stupid car shop that I went to that I'll never go back to again um, so uh, I let the engine cool down completely you know and opened up I waited till there was no pressure at all I mean I couldn't hear any fizzing or anything like that opened up the uh, radiator cap and uh, poured a little antifreeze in there and I shook this stuff up it's called K-Seal here let me uh, let me show you what it is here it is K-Seal you can get it at Walmart it's just under 14 bucks it's in a small bottle you just got to shake it for about 30 seconds and then pour it right in the radiator and um, it's, so I poured it in and then I, I emptied the rest of the bottle of the coolant in there because I knew it was, you know, needing it um, and it actually could do for another bottle of coolant, but I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on coolant if it's just going to come, you know, leaking out. Um, so um, I started the engine. Um, I also checked the oil. I was low on oil. I put some oil in there. This this old vehicle uses a lot of oil. It's probably leaking oil from somewhere. So I might have to do some stop leaking there too, but different kind I know, not the K-Seal. But um, anyhow, so I let the engine run for a little while. And sure enough, the place where it was steaming around the collar of that one hose, no longer steaming. Um, so and then underneath it was still like barely dripping just barely dripping a little bit so I let it keep running for a while and um, at idle and it didn't overheat so it didn't go past the end of normal yay um, and uh, so I, I drove around I drove I don't know must have been about 60 miles from where I was to where I needed to go and um, it uh, when it started when the needle started going just slightly past the end in normal then something would kick on and then it would go back down so I think my thermostat is working you know that leads me to believe I, I mean I'm just ignorant to all this stuff so I'm just guessing but anyhow so it didn't overheat and then um, I did get out a little bit later looked underneath and um, after I've been driving for a little while and looked underneath and it didn't look like it was uh, draining out at all and that's usually when it kind of drips out is right after I stop and so I couldn't see anything coming out so I'm gonna watch it very very closely I'm gonna get um, you know a bottle two or more of that coolant and um, hopefully that's fixed also um, the little stalling thing I thought maybe it was battery alternator related but you know what <sighs> gosh I am thinking 
I am wondering if it's my fuel pump um, or if it's just because this van does not like to be running when it's this hot outside when my gas tank is so low. I mean, the, the, the needle was like on E and I have never ran it out of gas, so I don't know exactly how past E <laughs> the needle can get before it dies. Um, but it, it, the, the needle was on E and it's always been on E when I've got that weird symptom where it's kind of like, um, you know, stalling. Um, so anyhow, uh, yeah, I just put gas in it. If I have a quarter of a tank of gas in there at least, or even, even an eighth of a tank of gas, I don't get that weird symptom where it's kind of like, it doesn't like want to do what I want it to do. I, I can't even explain it. Um, so I don't know. I may still have problems with my alternator. I may still have problems with a fuel pump. And I may still have problems with, um, you know, the cooling system. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty pissed off that I paid almost $500 to get my vehicle fixed. And I'm still having issues. So, I'll never take it to that shop again. Um, the old manager is no longer there. I don't know where he's at. If, if Aaron, if you're out there, find me and tell me where you are. <laughs> you have my number. I think you have my number. Well, the shop has my number, so you don't have my number. Anyhow, um, okay. Sorry my hair is so messed up. This morning I took a shower and uh, actually I didn't really take a shower shower. I was camping and I used like um, a, the, a big tarp thingy to put over my doors and all the way down. So like I had a little shower stall. I made it like right over the grass and um, that's where I took my bath and I just poured cold water it was cold it was very refreshing and I washed my hair um, but I didn't blow dry it I just kind of let it dry any way that I wanted it to but oh my god it felt so good so yeah one of these days I'll show you how I do it and I, I know I promised to show you how I take a full bath in the van um, I'll show you I'll, I'll find a way to demonstrate it without actually having to get into uh, my birthday suit because you don't want to see that believe me you don't want to see that anyways yeah one of these days I'm gonna do a video with makeup on hide my dark circles because they're like it's just the, uh, the skin thins out and um, I mean I'm not tired I got a good night's sleep but anyhow um, let me wrap this up I am just ecstatic that I was able to take these measures on my own and get it um, God. I don't know how to position this stupid thing and get the vehicle to do what it's supposed to do now I don't know if it's gonna hold I don't know if I actually fix anything long term I know there's lots more repairs that goes into this van um, but you know what it just felt you know empowering to do this myself you know some of these women's libbers and you know social justice warriors whatever um, they are empowered by being given positions of status according to their gender or their gender preference or identification or their race or whatever I feel empowered after having done something all by myself and it ended up with positive results like my vehicle like something tangible something important like my vehicle my house running <laughs> I was so nervous about it all weekend and um, so it's doing okay now and I'm happy I'm very very happy and um, Betty yeah she's uh, being a good girl here too it is actually I don't know it's like 90 degrees outside and I am inside my van with the windows cracked I've got my four fans going and it is comfortable in here it is comfortable in here if I can just stay out of the Sun um, and keep a cool breeze going we are just fine so yeah that's it that's it you guys thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one